So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily. Gozerian more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure you, it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. Your first class lookout. Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvy. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so, but I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this. The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself. Please tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! That's all I need! Thanks! Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Prack around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look. This city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. <laughs> Funny guy, Bankman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's why your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect Peck for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? P-C-O-C, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clown's operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now, just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Venkman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on that. Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a bosun glider. I'm just saying, it, it could Ghost happen. Ghostbusters, what do you want? We can schedule a visit, um, next Thursday? Sometime between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m.? I'm afraid that's the soonest opening we have. All right, I've got you down for then. Oh, it won't be necessary to call before they arrive. Believe me. You'll know it. Ray and I have been talking. 
And we think we should have a look at the museum. Whatever happened tonight, it started there. Okay. I'll take one for the team. Stay with Ilyssa. You guys go with Winston and the recruit. I'll be your personal protection. What about Peck? He's supposed to be informed of everything we do. What he doesn't know can't hurt us. Hey guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on 1010 Winds now. Tune it in. And another ghostly sighting has staff at the New York Public Library scrambling for answers. The Grey Lady. Let's get her for real this time. Go! Whoa, what about the museum? It's been there for 104 years. Where's it gonna go today? Um, this thing you guys have for the Grey Lady borders on the wheel. You know that, right? She made us look like schmucks. Not this time. Oh, and another thing. Pat called and says that I'm required to tell him where you are and what you are up to. Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there. Eventually. would love this. Captain McMahon from the 12th says there was a massive disturbance. Real fireworks show. Not much going on now. Maybe. But didn't there used to be two lines out here? Check for valences. Hmm. Interesting. Ray, look at this. Wow, big spikes. Hey, cadet, you need to see this. Stand back. Look out. There they go. Whoa, double full torso animators. Come on! After them! You hurt, Stance. Let's move. <laughs> there they are! A couple of Class 5 animators. I've never seen them in tandem like that. They're really agitated. Switching on the pack. Not easy. Miss! Damn! Sorry, Z. How about a little warning next time, fellas? That one's a beast, Ray. Let's chase him down. Winston, check that next doorway. See if he has any friends. Leave a haunted room. I got no problem with that. Hey, Cadet. To use the shock blaster, it's best to get in fairly close. Its effects are powerful, but dissipate quickly over distance. And please be careful. It's a prototype. We're trusting you with it. The stasis stream will temporarily slow down paranormal entities. If you train the stream on the target long enough, you can actually stop it entirely. This is how you use it. Ooh, a freeze ray. A stasis stream. This has nothing to do with cold, but the effect is similar. When do you have the time to work on all this stuff, Egon? I've been conducting an experiment in which I sleep an average 14 minutes a day. Leaves me a lot of time to work. Great. Ready to roll. Hey, Haas, you think you can handle that little fella yourself? We'll meet you back here.
gets to connect! Strong emanations. No direct source, though. We followed our guy in here. He gave us the slip. Detecting a very strong anomaly here. Uh oh Here comes something big! That is a fine example of a level 6 bi-dimensional attack. Egon, did I mention what a good idea you had to come up on the balcony? PK energy must it take to collect an animated entity like that? A lot. A lot of very angry energy. How easy was that? Wait, not so fast. I'm getting some big fluxes here. See if you can pick up a signal. I think it's her. Yes! Yes, it is her! Eleanor Twitty, the librarian! Look! There she is! Meet us at the stairway door. She went down that way! Winston, check upstairs to see if the other phantom doubled back. Roger. Again, that witch. Take your ease out and try to be quiet. Wow, a full stabilizing levitation. I'd say we're close to something. Ray. You got something? I've got something right here. Kid, check that out. Ah! Ooh, she keeps shushing us. That's her, the Grey Lady. She's the first ghost we ever hunted. Man, I wish Venkman was here. I'm pretty sure Venkman doesn't. Easy now. She's real skittish. Damn. Lost her. Let's go. We'll cut her off. These readings are off the charts. And I'll have to make new charts. is reading like a psychic pressure cooker. Prime your thrower. Everybody stick close together. What was that?
Temperature's dropping. Event imminent. Brace yourselves. Guys, I'm in the periodical archives looking at a stack of old newspaper clippings all about some nut named Edmund Hoover, a.k.a. The Collector. Come on. This dude has a history you should know about. He was a rare book collector who seduced Eleanor Quinney, the head librarian of this place. The Grey Lady? That would be my guess. <laughs> I'm doing. Congratulations, Ray. Uh, but I'm near Special Collections. Someone you've been wanting to meet again is here. We're on our way! Keep an eye on the twitchy ones. They'll really crease you if you aren't careful.
Keep moving, sport. We sure don't want to be trapped in here. You all right? Come on, let's go! Watch it! Get him! Mind the paper cuts! I think you're gonna be off. Looks like the Grey Lady makes her own reinforcements. Keep your eyes open, team. She's upping the ante. Thanks for the warning, Ray. But I have no idea what you're talking about. You may want to just take our word for it. Take a scan, would you? Let's get a solid scan. I missed that, Ray. Please repeat. Enough with the shushing! Well, at least we're getting closer. Could not hear a word of that, Ray. Ray! To the creeps, huh? Okay, good job. Come on, kid. We need to get out of here. Uh, Winston, where the heck are you? In the periodical section. Checking the box scores from the Knicks game last night. Why? Tell us more about this collector, Winston. Says here that this collector used the Grey Lady to get to the rare books in her care. Specifically, a book called, get this, the Gozerian Codex. Great. Yeah. And when she found out what he was up to, she dumped him. 
Smart lady. Not really. Evidently, he murdered her for it. Uh-oh. The Grey Lady was his first victim, but he killed a bunch more. And let me guess, he collected their bodies just like he collected books? Bingo! Ray, you get to buy me dinner. And here's the last on the collector. Seconds before he was hanged, he said he would return as Azit Lore, some sort of god, to keep watch over the library and every rare book in its collection. Sounds like quite the bookworm. Sounds like the kind we run into all the time. Try to pick up a signal. sign, but it sure isn't a good one. Jeez! That'll only hurt for a minute. Hear that? It's around here someplace. Uh huh. Somebody's in here. Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh boy, we're not alone. Ugh, I gotta be more careful. You alright? What are they saying? trying to tell us something. What else did Hoover collect? Bye. You got that right, Scooter. Here's the place. Special collections. These rooms are packed with rare and valuable volumes. Okay, she's in here with Egon. No noise. Science fiction section. Can't blast through the shield! Their shields. Use the capture stream on their shields. Wrangle their shield! Remember how you were saying Print was dead? I wish. Now where'd she go? Valence is up. She definitely left a trace somewhere.
Big spike right here. Yeah, check this out. I feel a breeze. Oh, cool. Secret passages. These are great. I didn't even know this area existed. Looks like the janitors didn't either. The last 80 years anyway. What are those? I don't recognize them from Tobin's. No. They're in the revised Ethiary catalog. I think the Grey Lady is constructing them from the books and minor spirits here. She may be more powerful than we thought. Take a look at this place. I could spend a month taking inventory of these books. Let's be very careful what we wish for down here, Ray. Wow, dig that! Ray, I'm not entirely convinced this is the best course of action. Hey, I'll bet this is a trap! Welcome back, Ray. Serious doubts about the structural integrity of this subway suit. It's moving again! Over the left! Pull the same trick twice! I'm telling you, the substructure is unstable. The ceiling could come down on top of us. Our world probe experiment is working. You're clairvoyant. No, I saw the support columns buckle. Could be trouble. I'm on your side. Over there! Oh boy. Those beams are wedged solid. Good place for the capture stream. Ah! 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 Ah!
wonder what's down there. Something big, and more than likely terrifying. It's really dark down there. Damn, too. Wonderful. Hope don't have any open cuts. I'm thinking flesh-eating back through. That's an electric lock on the door. See if you can find the power. Great! The recruit found it! Now, I wonder if it's a good idea to be standing in a foot and a half of water. That didn't last long. I'm a big fan of the level 6 five-dimensional attractor. I'm with you on that. We're lucky there were only some old books for it to manifest with. Recruit, you okay? Let's keep moving. Um... This is cheery. Nice place. Nothing bad could ever happen in here. There she is! Flank her! She's got nowhere to run! Except through the grate. I'm not clear on how the flanking was supposed to work. Oh boy, burning coal. Two of them this time! Yeah, nice Ray. Tell us again how lucky we are. Before this gets really dangerous. We may have missed that window, Ray. Well, we can't follow her through that grate. Is there another way? What you find there, young blood? Good work. Spangler, the kid found the exit. I added something new to the pack. This is the PDS, Plasm Distribution System. Basically, it's Slime Blower Mark II, heavily modified from the earlier version. Your plasm banks are now integrated into the Proton Pack. It uses a base culture of ectoplasm that can impair entities, cause caustic black slime to go inert, and reveal otherwise invisible ethereal structures that reside on this plane. To use the Slime Blower, just point and squirt. Neutralize any active back to the black slime. See? Neutralized slime. Our own private shortcut to hell. That's convenient.
eerie place. I wonder if this is where the Collector killed the Librarian. I think that would be a safe assumption. That book she's reading is emitting massive energy. That's your cue, killer. Go get him. took that pretty well, better than I expected. It makes perfect sense if her residual spirit energy is tied to the book. The Gozerian Codex, right? Now that we have it, her echo must have been released. She's gone. I think we helped her cross over. Not entirely without scientific interest. Just crossed right back. Oh, no. The book stands are generating her shield. Buddy, the podium! Soak them! Soak them!
shielding herself with the Cronus to blast her those first! Stands are generated by the She is shielding herself with the bonuses. Go after those first. Generate the cage. Keep hitting the book stand. Book stands are generating her shield. Up there! Here they come! Ooh. She is shielding herself with the cornice and trapped for those first! Stands are generating her shield. Straight on. wasn't as tough as it should have been. I was just thinking of the same thing. It was almost too easy. Like she wants us to have the Codex. Yes, like she wanted us to blast this room apart. But why? Cross-dimensional portal. From the 5th to the 4th. A whole world of ghosts. Something I've dreamt about since college. It's all in the Monarchia Demonium. Fantastic. Ghost world. Wouldn't get too excited, Ray. I have a feeling she did it so we could meet an old friend of hers. Well, if we're going... Not much choice, is there? It's the only way out. You, take the lead. Don't worry, we do this all the time. like on the far side of a cross-dimensional portal. It's one of infinite potential configurations. You know, theoretically. 
Yes, well, this looks like the Gozerian configuration. Watch out, black slime. down and keep hitting these portals. One of them has got to lead out. Uh, the scientific method, right? like a good place for slime tether. To stretch a slime tether, point and launch the first anchor, then point and shoot the second. The launched slime tether will then contract. The more tethers you attach to a point, the stronger the resulting reaction. Since they're ectoplasmic charge has a short half-life, tethers will grow brittle over time and then break. You can blast an existing tether with any other equipment type to destroy it. Like a pro! We should be able to put that back into place. Ghost world or no, the principle of leverage should still work the same anywhere. Ah, yeah, you're on fire, cadet!
Rosarian exhibit, the huge energy pulse, the Sedgwick Hotel, the return of Stay Puft. Yeah. Yes, even this. All pointing back to a single point of origin. Elissa? Elissa. You think she's a factor in this? Maybe not intentionally, but almost definitely.
like what they've done with the place here. But I hope that portal would have taken us back to the library. Actually, we are back in the public library. The dimensional membrane must be extremely thin here. Someone's holding us here. The Collector. Yes, Azitlor wants to add to his collection, and he's probably not too happy about us taking the Gozerian Codex with us. Oh yeah? What can a twisted little bookworm do to scare us? He murdered Eleanor Twitty for it when he was alive, and a dozen others just to cover it up. Hey, Collector! We're taking your book! What do you think about that? Ah, uh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Yes, I think you got his attention, Ray. Oh, boy. He's resisting my proton stream! Look, his face is protected by black slime. That must be the key! Hey, Junior, switch out your nozzle and hose him down! Neutronize the black slime on his mask. Slime blower kid. It's clear. Rip his mask off. It looks vulnerable. Egon, yeah, that did it. Oh no, I think we just exposed his angry side. Bring him down all the way. Concentrate on the eye if you can. He's got nothing that can resist the proton stream. Quickly, oh. Travel! He's out of control! Blast him in the eye! Look, I think it's working! portal back here. Come on, Rook, that's gotta be the way out. Guys! Where are you guys? Come on, Rook, we gotta get out of here. What the hell were you guys? I've been running all over this library, calling you, looking for you, nothing. We passed through a cross-dimensional portal into an alternate version of the New York Public Library and fought a 40-foot monster made out of priceless antiques to steal an ancient magical book. Oh, well, that would explain it then. Next time, leave a note. Ray, does this mean anything to you? Nope, it wasn't here the first time we came through. What is it? Not entirely sure, but whatever it is, I think we just turned it off. You thinking what I'm thinking? Then cross New York style with no visible anchovy. Hmm? Maybe later. Right now I need to go back to the lab and take a look at this codex. And analyze the data we've collected. It could help us when we go to the museum. Slice to go on the way? Rookie Street? And we need to know what this is. I'll call for delivery. Again. Well, it's a great read, but nothing about that. I know that symbol. How? It shows up sometimes in Sumerian ritual magic. There's a statue on loan at the museum that features it. What does it represent? Just a symbol. Signifies a path to obtain great power. Most of my colleagues assume it's an old constellation. No constellation I ever saw. 
and I used to tell fortunes on Coney Island. Is that right? Did you wear a turban? No, man. A red velvet cape with moons. It was plush. Get this. The codex does indicate there is some kind of feeder system required to channel energy to a destructor form. A destructor form? Like Stay Puft? It's entirely possible that system and this pattern are connected. It's possible. Wait, you said the Gozerian statuary at the museum is on loan. From whom? Evo Shandor, the architect. Well, the Shandor Foundation. They control Shandor's remaining estate and holdings. Evo is a big collector of Gozerian artifacts. By Evo Shandor, the architect, you mean Evo Shandor, the genocidal maniac, right? That's what I was researching when Gozer attacked me. Shandor's architecture firm was involved in a number of projects around town in the late 18, early 1900s. Including Dana Barrett's old building on Central Park West. You mean the one with the extra-dimensional antenna that drew Gozer to our world so he could attempt to destroy it? He had a nice view of the park, though. Yes, but he also did some renovations on existing buildings and a number of public works. There was controversy, because a lot of people thought the work was unnecessary. Let me guess. He did some renovations on the public library building on 5th. Right. And the Museum of Natural History. Recent visitations, specific localized paranormal activity, singing Vikings. They're all connected to Shandor and this pattern.